Oh my goodness, was I excited when I found out that I missed Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Killing Nazis never goes out of style, my friend. This is exactly what I need. Now, if you haven't been with us for any of our Wolfenstein playthroughs, oh, oh, there is some, some viewing that I have for you. You're with your boy Cam from the beautiful Vancouver. Canada. How the heck is everyone doing halfway through the week? We're sharing the joy of games with you, my friends, while well, the joy of killing Nazis in this situation. Across multiple platforms on Twitch, Kick, DLive, Rumble, uh, YouTube is in there as well. How the heck is everyone doing? We're live in your home, on your phone, on your tablet, and your TV. And that, Stephanie, is exactly why we are playing this. This was the runner-up to our last poll that we did. Uh, a lot of you voted for Wolfenstein the Old Blood, but lost out by like one or two votes to uh, Death Stranding, which we're having a blast with that. Wolfenstein is a classic series that was rebooted by Machine Games and Bethesda. Um, I forget when they launched um, the reboot. However, if you have not seen the playthroughs that we did, the streams that we did of Wolfenstein, the New Order, Wolfenstein 2, the New Colossus, uh, or even Youngblood. I'd say Wolfenstein 1 or 2. Youngblood is, is, is okay. Then check it out. Yes, this is a, a first-person shooter. Yes, it is guns. Yes, it's explosions and blood and, and gore and all that stuff. But it is very similar to Doom. It's very similar to Bioshock. The story behind this is well done. It's so well done so that there is more than just the whole mindless killing thing going on here. There's a really good story set in the whole Germany Nazi thing. If you have not seen the first two uh, games that we've streamed, in the YouTube section or over at beacons.ai slash gamercam, search for Wolfenstein, and you'll find the full playlist. I highly recommend checking them out. We had a blast with those. I might actually redo them just because when I did stream them, it was kind of back when I didn't have that much production value. I mean, hell, I don't really have that much now, but let's not talk about that. Okay, stop it. <laughs> um, all I'm going to say is, if you haven't seen the other Wolfenstein ones, at least have a look at New Order and New Colossus over the Beacon Saudi I page, or it's in the YouTube description of the stream if you're watching this on YouTube right now. That's all I'm going to say about it. Let's get into it. This is going to be a prequel. So this is a prequel to the New Order. So if maybe what you can do is let's go through this, and then you can go start watching the New Order. Ah, there's a strategy to this shit. <laughs> okay. It has been... Quite a while since I've done any Wolfenstein gameplay at all. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, bring them on's the middle one. So we're gonna do bring them on. Not look at that. For anyone who's played the old first person, like old school Doom, old school Quake, old school Duke Nukem, old school Wolfenstein, they <laughs> they mock you, and it gets me every time. Don't hurt me, uh. There we go. See, we're just, we're normal. We're normal. And then, oh, he's looking a little angry. Ooh. You won't like him when he's angry. And then, Uber. That's, like, scary. All right, let's go. Luna is happy to see your mom. This war is a disease. Here we go. Passed through blood spilled by warriors. I feel the winds from the gathering storm. OSA operative, William J. Blaskowitz. Current assignment, Operation Wolfstone. Hey, Dinosaur Gamer, welcome to Rumble Chat. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. We just got started here. Through some, some victories in the German Army. Full victory achieved in the next couple of years. Supreme Commander achieved much of the success of the recent advancement in German war technology. Spearheaded by General Wilhelm Strauss. Appreciate that, Dinosaur Gaming. I hope you don't mind the weight of the world on your shoulders, Agent Blaskowitz. 
I've got pretty solid shoulders, Agent One. Well, we're losing the bloody war. Nobody told me. HQ's put a tight lid on it. General Death said is manufacturing unstoppable killing machines in a secret compound. One of his lieutenants, Helga von Schabs, is keeping the folder mentioned in your mission briefing at her base of operations, Castle Wolfenstein. This folder contains the location of Death's Head's compound. Could be our last chance, this. Before the Nazis wipe out all that's good in the world. America would never fold. <laughs> all right, here's the checkpoint. Remember your cover. Commander Franz, Nazi bastard from the SS in Frankfurt. Papiere, bitte. Hier. Fahren Sie zum Kontrollpunkt da vorne und zeigen Sie dort Ihre Papiere. Okay. Ja. Wiedersehen. You and me, Blaskowitz. What a good team. We can do this. Yeah, we can. What's this? Hold on. Concept art. Paderborn Bridge. Paderborn Bridge is a century-old bridge which the Nazis have turned into a military checkpoint and fortified with a new type of concrete developed by Nazi scientists. Beneath the bridge lies the Wolfenstein Cable Car Station, which is the only way into the heavily guarded Castle Wolfenstein. The Castle Wolfenstein is basically... like, huge lore of the Wolfenstein series. Going back to its original... back on, like, MS-DOS. Like, dude. It's crazy. Okay, look. You're German? Frankly, it's atrocious. Uh oh. So no talking. And keep your gun holstered for as long as you can. The papers Kessler prepared for you are in the glove box. There. Helmet, bronze. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> and remember, stay focused, stay quiet, and follow me, right? Simple instructions. France, Aus Frankfurt, Guten Morgen, Guten Morgen. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so just a quick little. I, I Once again, I don't know if you guys have seen the old. Uh, like, the, the original game that I played. But the whole thing, they just mentioned it, is that in this timeline, the Nazis are winning. And they have gone ape shit with technology, which is what's allowing them to win the war. And, like, they are winning. You saw that fucking dog-like thing coming in? Yeah, that's tip of the iceberg. Tip of the iceberg. Um Himmels Willen stramm stehen, Fritz. Der Jäger kommt gleich. Jawohl. Der macht Hundefutter aus dir, wenn er dich so sieht. Was soll ich denn dann deiner Mutter erzählen? Entschuldige, Onkel. Nenn mich nicht so. Entschuldigung. We are so undercover right now. Sure, I'll just take that off the wall. I know, lovely view, right? Too bad what's surrounding it. Zeigen Sie Ihre Papiere. Hier. What's up, Christian? Alles klar. Guten Morgen, Herr Jäger. Whoa. Look at this frickin' ham hock. Die Papiere, bitte. Augenblick, warten Sie. Look at this frickin' is this human? Frankfurt. Sind Sie Frankfurter? Ja, äh, ein Hotdog. <laughs> Yo, this guy is terrifying. Das war ein komischer Kreis. Die spinnen die Abends Hotdog. Die werden sich wundern, wenn wir an der Macht sind. <lacht> Weiter. Ach, Kreta, bei Fuß. What's up, Genie? Good to see ya. That guy was terrifying. Bro. 
and that dog? Terrifying. <laughs> Heard Machine Games working on an Indiana Jones game? I am here for it. With what Machine Games has done with the Wolfenstein series? Oh, man. They have, they have a long leash for me. Massive roids, right, Genie? <laughs> how, how are you doing, by the way? It's good to see ya. Oof, that was close. Commandant Franz, bitte treten Sie ein. Genie, have you seen any of the Wolf Side games before? Reckon I had to say something. <laughs> that was Rudy Jaeger, Helga's second in command. Oh yeah, he feeds his dogs with prisoners from the castle's dungeon. I'm doing great now that I'm... I learned that this is available. And we're halfway done the week too, which is a win. Guten Morgen. Morgen. Yeah, salute me too. No? Okay. Hot dog. <laughs> Is it downstairs? Helga von Schaps. What a nasty piece of work. Whew. I know, right, Elizabeth? By Death's Head himself, as a key member of the SS Paranormal Division. Okay. Now I had the misfortune of encountering her on a mission to Tanzania. Did I ever tell you about that, Blaskowitz? Was sick with Blackwater fever at the time. Blackwater Possibly fever. Must be the worst day of my life. Not even a heavy diet of whiskey could improve my condition. <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> Usually that wouldn't improve everyone's anyway, condition. This castle, Helga owns it. It's her occult research center. Now we need to take down Death's Head or the war will be lost. And Helga is vital in doing this. There's a top secret document folder in Helga's office. Okay. It should give us the location of Death's Head's compound. Gotcha. Once we have that, well then, we can launch an assault on his base of operations. Shoot him dead. Turn this failure of a war around and be back just in time for tea. <laughs> nice and simple, right? Just in time for tea. So Castle Wolfenstein. Love it. Such a, sh a throwback to the original games and other uh, versions right. of the game. Off you go. I'll disable the alarm. You head for Helga's research center. We'll stay in touch via radio. Okay. Leaving the channel open. Sounds good. So, we, I think, I would mention it just before you got here, Jeannie, but Wolfenstein, it, this, the, this game here is basically a different timeline where in the 1940s, the Nazis are actually winning the war. And the reason why is they have ridiculous scientific research that has gone into crazy fucked up technology that's allowing them to win. And so that's right now, even though we're wearing Nazi uniforms, we're kind of sneaking in to try and get some of the, the details here. So that's kind of the quick thing there. You enjoy the dumb driver vids? I'm pretty close to getting another one uh, out here pretty soon. I think I just need one or two more clips to have that going. So it's going to be fun when, I, uh, able, when I'm able to do that. All right. I want to turn my uh, sensitivity a little bit here. Uh, b -b -b controls. There we are. Bring up here a little bit. Try that. That seems a little bit more snappy. Yeah, see, that's more like it. A lot of them are just walking around here. There's a... oh, okay. So, of course, in, in this, the Nazis, well, I guess even real life, the Nazis would take any type of history and treasure they could, right? So...
It was hard to find a uniform that would fit BJ's massive build, so the OSA hired a tailor and made a custom uniform. The funny thing is, our character, BJ Blazkowicz, is, is like a big dude. I felt we were tiny compared to that freaking big, like... Pfft, oh. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Inside the elevator. Uh, roger that. Guard spotted. Going into the kill. <laughs> Standard issue sidearm frequently used by Nazi commanders. Useful engaging light armored enemies close ranges. Cool. That guy was beefy. There you go now. Sleep tight. Oh, that guy knocks that dude out. Yeah, that guy was a beefcake for sure. Dude, they got like electric shocks and shit. I'm gonna sneak up behind this dude. Oh shit. This assault rifle, God, golly, shit! How that guy not see me? I just want to be stealthy right now because I'm I'm feeling a little intimidated. Just a little intimidated. Like, why are these guys got electric backpacks on? Oh, we got dual wield already. Okay. Yeah, here's our weapon. So are you, we already got two wheeled assault rifles. Okay, Helga. Where do you keep your secrets? By the document folder. No, I have not played The Witcher. I have not. I've, I've heard a lot of good things about the series and a lot of people love it. So if there's enough interest in it, I might. If I have enough interest. Yeah, Death and Super Soldiers. So we're looking for a save here. Okay, I'm working on it. Like Bionic Man? Yeah, right? Okay, gotta find a radio. Like, what is that doing there? Your bum shrunk, she's 4'9? Oh my word. Here we are. Pathfinder calling Lanceer. Come in, Lanceer, over. This is Lanceer speaking, over. Lanceer, we can't find Lucy's present, over. Hmm. Pathfinder, I have new information regarding Lucy's present. Rendezvous with me as soon as you can. We will discuss further, over. Roger. Pathfinder out. Oh, oh shit. Hold him off, Blaskowitz. I'll find us an escape route. Remember, nothing good left in the world. Shoot those Nazis, Blaskowitz. Work it on. on it. Push me, guys. Oh shit, what was that? Grenade? Oh. Hold on. Yeesh. Hold on. Oh shit. There's a lot of them. Well, I want to do uh, my duel. Oh wow, we didn't have that much handgun ammo, did we? Woo! Gotta pick him.
Yeesh. Okay, we're in trouble, guys. One down. Yeah, bigger weapons. And it's crazy because this assault rifle is huge as it is. There's so many of them. Man. How's that exit coming along, Wesley? Yeah, how is that coming along, Wesley? Hit, dude. Oof, that hurt. Hey, right, buddy, 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 buddy. Holy crap. Oh shit. Where are you? I couldn't even see the guy. I think he was up top. Like, man. Oof, okay, well. <laughs> we're diving right back into this, aren't we? Yeah, busy lobby for sure. Good lord. All right, let's try it again. It's the guys up top that... Working on it. I think I'm just gonna wait here. Pop, pop. I think I learned my lesson. I'm just gonna stay down here. I'll just stay down here. Woo wee! Granada! Got him. It's kind of cheesy, but I'll take it. it. Looks like a Terminator, right? I know. Yeah, we're doing a lot better here. Whoa, what the flip happened there? I'll take that. Hi! Man, you walked in the wrong room, my friend. Shit. Yo, there's tossing these. Shit. Like, there's so many of them. I mean, we are in their castle in Germany. Like, come on. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised, really. You know. No, they're not coming back to life. There's just a large number of them. This isn't Nazi zombies in Call of Duty. <laughs> At least I hope not. It should trigger the whole thing where it's like, hey, where's my exit here, right? Yeah, see, it slowed down a little bit here. There's just a dude up top I have to watch out for. Look at all the dead people, man. Got him. Nice. Marksman. These elite soldiers are excellent marksmen armed with deadly Bombenschuss carbine. Equipped with a visor allowing them to hit targets over great distances. Yeah, see, it's all techie stuff, man. So, how do I get out of here, bro? How's that exit coming along, Wesley? What a bloody cock up, ABJ. Huh. And we still have a chance. That's one way to say it. something. Right. Look, I found a way out. Come here. I'll help you up. Please, what is this? Careful. Careful. Ooh, double barrel shotgun. We're yes, please. Meeting Kessler in the village tavern. Oh, roger that. Oh, nice. Here we are. Golden ladder. Here. Quick as you can. They got like alien skulls. What is this? In Indiana Jones, the Crystal Skull. Shit. Here, use this exit. Yeah, Let's I'm looking for secrets. I'm looking for secrets, exit. brother. I will. Just let me check no around. Back now, BJ. Keep moving. Okay, okay. Peesh. Shit. Oh! Well, 
That is the definition of a cock up. As the, the good guy said. That punch would have hurt. That's just the intro. As I've said, guys, this is a prequel to the New Order. So. Yeah, Nazi Big Daddy. <laughs> That's a good call, Stephanie. Yeet. Ouch. Yeah, we're going down there, aren't we? Oh, shit. Boot. He just sparted us. This is Sparta. Down we go. Ooh, that would have hurt. Damn. Part one. Rudy Yeager and the Den of Wolves. Prison. Wakey, wakey. Kinda of looks like a handyman. Yeah, Christian, that's true. It does, doesn't it? God damn it, Blaskowitz. You done messed up now. Is that our blood? Yep, I'm here, Wesley. Good, good. I'll get us out of here somehow. Are those rats? There's no Donia, Blaskowitz. no Donia. No, never been. It's a majestic and beautifully desolate place. Rolling ah. hills as far as the eye can see. My father used to take me hiking there sometimes. Before okay. the Great War. He was okay. happy back then. He'd pack a basket full of bread and cheddar. Bottle of ale for him and a soft drink for me. <laughs> Even found a fossil there once. Sounds like a good family Sunday day. I broke my foot slipping on a wet stone. Oh, dumb kid. That was the best day of my life. Aw. I wish I'd had a chance to go back there. Uh -oh. Evening officer. Well, bye Wesley. Looks like it's on us. How is there no one else tried this before? Oh! oh. So, how are we going to use these? <laughs> New weapon, pipes. Pipes are useful for climbing special walls, opening hatches, to break out steady walls and wooden crates. Pipes are also useful when engaging an enemy at melee range or when sneaking up on an enemy to perform uh, takedown. Cool. So now They're almost like Krambits. Hold on. Use the lean system at the top of climb walls to peek above or below. Press and hold L1. Okay. Super soldiers leashed up by those cables. Turning off the power maybe shuts them down. Okay. So how do we do that? Fredo style up the walls, I know, right? Please don't see me. There we go. Oh shit. Uh Oh did oh I took him right out. Oh shit. My bad. Oh no. Oh I'm dead. We're so dead. I'm not here! I'm not here! Fuck! That actually worked! <laughs> oh shit. I feel like Death Stranding where I have to hold my breath so they don't hear me. Oh shit. Oh no.
Now I get it. Now I see, like, we have to get the whole way. Oh, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like <laughs> I got a little too, too, uh, too cocky there. But at least now we know what we're doing. <laughs> now I know exactly what we're doing. Super soldiers leashed up by those cables. Turning off the power maybe shuts them down. Yeah, just a little ambitious. <laughs> I was punching out a little bit outside of my weight class there, just a little bit. Oh, come on, bro. Once again, a little too ambitious. Oh, wait. Dumbass. Got him. Four back in Death's Head's X Labs. Cool. I can't really run with this though, so that kind of sucks. All right, well, we'll grab one later. So yeah, as you can see, the Nazis are heavily into the technology here, way more than they really were back in the day. And so that's allowing them to beat the Allies. Okay, where's this big boy? I have to wait till he's all the way down there. That's alright, we got this. He's probably looking at his buddy like, I wonder what happened over there. I don't know. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Got him, coach. Whew. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Now I'm going to take this guy. Hopefully I can use this, uh, put this gun to good use. <laughs> Aww. Dang it, I can't take it with me. Oh, that would have been too nice. Okay. Oh no, they got turrets. Damn. Gross. You guys all know I love animals, but I will say it again. It happened it, it happened in Days Gone. It happened in any video game where there's aggressive animals, they scare the shit out of me, and I'm just overly aggressive, even though I feel bad when I, I hurt them. Oh, they had a little dog bull! Shit. Dude, he's looking for me. Yeah, he's totally eating my face off. I want to take his face off. Great movie. John Travolta, Nicolas Cage. Oh, fuck. 
That was stressful. That was stressful. Oh shit, that was close. You asshole, why are you looking back here, man? What? Oh no, there's two! Oh, we're fucked. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit tough. So we got Buddy right over there. I got Buddy right there. Holy crap, I don't know what to do here. We gotta look for the pattern. I wonder if we try and like sneaky shoot. Yeah, you can't come over here. Haha. <laughs> what you gonna do? That was a great movie, wasn't it, Elizabeth? Or uh Stephanie, right? That's how we do. Kaboom. Dude, look at that. Oh, that's nasty. There's two. Oh shit, there's still two more. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> I thought we had one more. Why they gotta be like that though? Fuck. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say those mean things about your mom. My pipe over here. Okay, 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 okay. This is a tough situation. I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this, but... I gotta get that other guy, the close guy. The closer guy. You heading to bed, Stephanie? It's all good. Thanks for popping in. Hope you have a great sleep. These guys annoy me. I can jump shot him, but...
Yes! Oh my gosh. I was looking at my health slowly going down, my armor going away. I was like, ah! Okay. Yeah, keep going off the mouth, bro. Ooh, I gotta be careful. This guy is like, oof. Got him. Yeah, you like that? Boom, baby. Ooh. Whew. Okay, I can breathe a little easier now, I hope. Fuck. <laughs> Nice. Well, hopefully they, they ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Eh. Oh, right there, fall damage. As a Christian? Oh. Oh, that's it for Geschichte interessiert. That's had she sogar in Wien studied. She's the mere as das. Es ist übernatürlich. Zweifelst du etwa ihre Motive an? Natürlich nicht, es ist nur... Sie ist Obersturmbannführer der SS. Sie handelt nur zum Besten des Reichs. Meinst du, es interessiert sie, was du denkst? Nein, aber... Sie könnte dich auf der Stelle erschießen lassen. Ja, aber... Warum bist du der paranormalen Division der SS überhaupt beigetreten? Wenn du glaubst, dass solche Dinge unnatürlich sind, hä? Ich... Was? Ich dachte, wir würden etwas zum Anfassen suchen. Wie den Heiligen Gral zum Beispiel. Like the Holy Grail or something? Was this Indiana Jones? It's interesting, like, listening to this and reading this, to give us a better backstory of Helga and her position. Still have to use that mechanic a little bit there. Ugh. Gross. Oh, those aren't good. I freaking hate drones, man. Gold. I'll take gold. I love gold. Uh, nope. Oh, shit. Oh, hello, nurse.
Wow, that didn't hurt me as much as I thought it would. There's still one more, though. There it is. Go for the head. But wait, I got another one. <laughs> oh, boom. Crazy how we can pick up these like scraps and it's considered armor. <laughs> hey, first aid kit? Don't mind if I do. Oh no, it's just broken up stuff. Oh, that's where those things are. Okay. Can I go down there? If I want to die. <laughs> Uh, I should probably take it along just in case, I suppose. Okay, maybe not. Let's get out of here. I'm all for a little bit of stealth, but I also would like a little bit of... Hello? Um, action here as well. Oh, we got the dogs again. Fuck. I don't like this. Ooh, that was close. That dog would have fucked us over if I hadn't checked this out. Sorry, Pooch. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Okay, but he's coming back, so I just gotta wait for him to come back and turn around. You can't see me, I'm not here. Boring patrols would be for these people. What's up, Jacob? Good to see you, buddy. Batista, oh, he had the heave ho. <laughs> How's your day, buddy? Good to see you, man. Why is this guy already hurt? Give me the good stuff. Ha ha. World starts bench clearing? Was it? Was it pretty crazy today? What's this? Power. Oh, I need power. Nah. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
I, we still got Stanley Cup playoffs going on, man. I, I don't have time to watch that much sports. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish I did. Okay, where is this going to take us now? Okay, I'm kind of scared. Boom. Like that's all that's left is just a hunk of like dead meat. Yeah, walk away. You can't handle any of the smoke, brother. Oh, yo, we got, like, a little secret area here? Nah, I want to go straight at him, though. Game looks a little bit kill zone. Jacob, I know you've been around for a long time. Were you here when I played Wolfenstein, the New Order, and the New Colossus? Because if not, dude, you've got to watch those replays. Because this is a prequel to those. And I played those back when I was streaming back in 2018. So trust me. If you're liking this... Got him, coach. Woo. <laughs> there you go. You don't need any of that stuff no more. Now, is there anything in here? I might as well check out. Okay, so there's any, like, secrets or nothing. No, there's nothing. May have been there. You are at school at the time. You see a little bits? Yeah, dude. So, there's always time to kill Nazis. And the story behind all this is just fantastic, in my opinion. The way they flip the script where the Nazis are actually winning and, and all that. Like, it's crazy to think about. What are you hiding? Cell blocks. Castle Wolfenstein's prison cell blocks are guarded by monstrous super soldaten and vicious Kampfuns. Officially, no one has ever escaped these dungeons, let alone the castle itself. Nah, see, though, it's pretty good. Definitely kill us all. Yeah, you'd like it. I think you'd like it. Electrified. Got it. Ooh. He's basically feeding that guy to the dog. Nutritious fat still on that one, yes. Gross. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? This is our, my first... Uh, Time playing the new blood or uh, uh, the old blood, although I did uh, we have played uh, some of the other uh, the new Colossus and New Order. Chris, have you ever played any of the Wolfenstein games before? Oh, I saw something there weird. Uh, fuck. Okay, I wonder if I can, like, drop down behind this thing stealth-like. Because I, I gotta know where to go here. Like, do I just fight him off, like, with my pipes? You got a, a lot of throwback MLB ejections? Oh, like, videos? Yeah, come here, pooch. Can I get in here? Nope. Oh, shit, that one's sleeping! He fucking ate the hell out of that guy. Now he's, like, passed out.
That didn't go quite like I thought it would, but it went better than I thought it would, too. Sneaky, sneaky. Shit. Dude, look at his arm. Like, they basically made them into bionic fucking dogs, bro. Like, they're basically trying to make Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. Except a lot, hell of a lot more meaner and fucked up. Sheesh. Oh, I need the armor. Sorry, Pooch. Not sorry. Talk about hilarious only uh, Heave Ho World Story. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, there's a lot to, uh, of ones out there. Is there anything else in here first? Let me, yeah, let me go this other side here. There's at least one more dog that needs to be put out of its misery. Plus, there might be, like, collectibles or some shit I can grab. Oh, we can go down here, too. Alright, well, that's our ultimate destination. Oh, I can't get over there, though. Well, that sucks ass. That's really far down. So what about the other one, then? Tenzin! How's it going, buddy? Good to see you, man. You, you sure know a lot, don't you? That's a long way down as well. Fuck it. Let's, let's go. Nasty. Oh, try. Yeah, I forgot we can do the slide. Whee! Rat. So many ins and outs in here. Okay. I figure there's a way to get up there. I guess not. Or if there is, I'm just totally missing it. Yeah, the Robodogs. Oh. Please don't let there be any jump scares down here. I can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, fuck your wall. In my 20s all over again? <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't watching, like, I only watched a little bit of just sports highlights if it wasn't NBA or hockey back then, brother. Tenzi, can't wait for summer. Month of teaching left before you break, then you're just gonna sleep in the hammock. Come a hermit in your village. <laughs> nice, dude. That video you posted looks like uh, you kind of had a, a fun little outing with some of your colleagues there, yeah? Fuck you, dog. There's so many dogs, bro. I love gold! So many dogs, man. You know MLB ejections were so popular and hilarious? Like you're watching drama in school? Yeah, I know, right? It's intense because I only I only have a pipe. It's the day before the marathon. Sunny, you and other volunteers ran full. You ran. Oh, that's right. You do marathons. Other than the 5K, 12K killed you. It took six hours. Yeah, but you finished, didn't you? Right. Oh shit. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep.
Oh my goodness. Say hello to my little friend. I do not care if you do not like him. You are going to get to know him very, very well. Why I talk like that, I don't know, but I'm doing it anyway. Bah. And fuck your box. And your box. Seriously, I have no idea why I was talking like that. Jay, you did finish start 8.30, finish around 2.20. It was your first time halfway through you ran injured. Oh, no, you... I'm sorry you got hurt, dude. That sucks. How'd you injure yourself? Just because... Was it just that you were running and you didn't stretch out well enough, or what? Ah, uh, tonight, Tenzin? <laughs> we started a little bit late tonight just because... The way the month ended... Um... Reese had a baseball game. So Reese... Yeah, Reese had a baseball game. Rhiannon had Sparks... Finished at the same time. I worked all day. Nikki worked all day. So after we picked up the kids from finished their programs, then we had to go shopping. So we didn't have time to even make dinner. So we actually got McDonald's tonight. Haven't had McDonald's in a while, but God knows. <laughs> I don't need to have it that often. <laughs> you can get the Evo? No. <laughs> this is a long drop. Yeet. Oh, God. Nasty. Oh, shit. Steps over them. Knock that guy to flip out. Getting into character? <laughs> it's because you were training on dirt road since it was on asphalt? Oh, got it. Not proper stretching, okay? Poor running shoes. That'll do it. Nah, we didn't give him a chigger. <laughs> Stream Ghost Tsushima before the second one comes out? Right now, Tenzin, we just actually... So, Jacob and Tenzin, um, we dropped our... Uh, I will... I showed the new schedule. I'm dr Like, as soon as the stream is over, it's going up out everywhere, so you guys know what games we're playing. And I do have a, a little bit of room. That's why I chose this, but I'm trying to work in a little bit of uh, some other games here. As well. What if it's just sleeping? What was sleeping talking me through his dead dreams? Article. Medieval sword unearthed in Wolfburg. Berlin, November 3rd, 1945. Archaeologists have unearthed fragments of a sword buried beneath a street in Wolfburg. The sword has been dated to the 10th century and belonged to a medieval knight. The archaeologist leading the dig, Lottie Cole, commented today in the find with enthusiasm. The knight was in the service of King Otto, the Holy Roman Emperor, when he was, for unknown reasons, killed on the streets of Wolfburg. It is unclear how this find relates to the raising of Wolfburg, which took place in 965 AD, but it strengthens the most popular theory among local historians that a group of knights sent out by King Otto were killed when they were trying to defend the city from invading bandits. What am I, what am I gonna do? That shit again? What, do McDonald's? Probably not for a while. Trust me, I don't need to eat more McDonald's. I need to, like, stay away from that shit. Tell me about the secret. What does Helga know? Oh, my children. Uh, why are you kissing me, bro? He's crazy. Sorry, old man. You mistake me for someone else. He thinks I'm his son. Yeah, you thought wrong. Hold up, what's this? The mental patients locked away in Castle Wolfenstein are being used by Helga von Schabs to collect esoteric knowledge. Esoteric knowledge, damn. We used to be the uh, where he came to oh creative <laughs> yes back when I wasn't uh, un 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 as unhealthy as I am now. Yeah, Jacob, have you not tried it? Wesley, 
I'll tell you about Aunt Sarah. Diagnosed with dementia during college. Medication made her drowsy and strange. I remember those eyes of hers. Like dirty windows on some derelict shack. What a really Grandma good way of calling it. Pass through the blood. That's a really cool way of explaining dementia. Or people that are, are not, they're there, but they're not there. Like their eyes are glazed over and he described it as like windows from like a, an old shack that have all just clouded up, you know? You don't eat McDonald's all the time, you just don't know if it's half good, half bad. It's McDonald's, dude. It's not really, it's not good for you. If you don't have it every, like, a lot, then every once in a while you could consider a treat, I guess. They told me to hold on to it. Hold on to what? Might you use it when... One sip of that jelly will fix her right up. Yo, what type of jelly though, brother? I'm not sticking around for that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm just noping my way right out of that shit. Anything else around here? Alright, yeah, we came from there. Okay, fair enough. The good part is, uh, fresh stuff, not bacteria, but it's f Oh, yeah, I mean, fast food isn't cheap anymore, man. Even fast food is expensive. It's crazy. Crazy. I don't need that right now. I, I'm pretty much full health here. Oof, death. Oh, shit! Yo! Okay! Found you. You are a quiet one, aren't you? Don't worry. We have plenty of time to get comfortable in each other's company. Hey, yo. Dude just started stabbing. I didn't. I thought it was a cutscene. <laughs> Shit. Patient interview note from Helga. I'm preoccupied by Jonas Hartman. There's more to this patient's ramblings than the manifestations of a psychosis. He's describing reoccurring visions connected to the city of Wolfburg. Visions that seem to be related to King Otto. A church burnt to the ground. Strange machinery in an underground labyrinth. Rotting limbs twisting and moving in darkness. It's all very intriguing. Could be our first real lead to find the buried treasures of King Otto. I will interview him in the library. What wine to choose? He seems like a Sauvignon kind of man. I shall enjoy this. Last week your mom got some uh, a McCrispy. They charge utensils, but it's a ha it's a burger. What do you need utensils for? Does your mom look time for like? And, and there's nothing wrong with this. Just to put this out there. But does she, like, get a burger and use a knife and fork? Oh, just for the straw. Okay, sorry. When you say utensils, I think knives, forks, spoons. Good friend of your mom's, Nadine brothers, passed away? Oh, rest in peace. That's tough. I'm sorry to hear that, Elizabeth. Locked. Oh, there we are. Bop. Good to know we have some knives now. Oh no. Fuck. The, I can't beat that thing. Like, if they're gonna charge something for a straw, they should at least charge like five cents or ten cents. At one cent, it's like, what the hell? I like the knife better. A little 
rippy rippy stabby stabby you know <laughs> McDonald's at, always adding bullshit I mean a lot if everywhere is adding bullshit Jacob I do not like that sound, man. Oh, what the flip? Why? I was not prepared. Why? I don't understand. Fuck. Okay, at the end of the hall. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me catch up on chat here. Is only your brother Elizabeth? It still sucks. Any, I mean, whenever someone is lost, that's that sucks. Now, Jeannie, were you saying it's BS for the thing finding me or for McDonald's charging for straws? <laughs> Imagine they do cheese fries or anything, you know, fries from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> this thing does not like me. Fuck. I don't know where to go here. There. Here we go. The straw? Okay, gotcha, Genie. Yeah. It's crazy these corporations will, like... Uh, at one hand, they're saying it's in the name of... You know, hey, we're gonna charge you for a straw for recycling and all that stuff. But it's like, that's not gonna help. You're charging me one cent for recycling? It costs way more to process that shit. And now, Jacob, is it plastic straws? Like, good old plastic straws? Or is it cardboard or paper straws? Like, here, this is the McDonald's drink I have right now, right? It's, it's a cardboard straw, right? Right? Well, let's remember, every business is in business to get rich. Right? They're business. It's just a matter of how are they going to go about it? Right? How much are they going to charge people are they gonna gouge people all those things i mean there's a huge there's a large grocery chain up here in canada that it's been like there's over 55,000 people that are boycotting it for the whole month because their profits just keep going up and up and up and up and up yet prices haven't been going down right and it's like well dude you're got record-breaking fucking profits and why we're still paying out the ass for this food? Like what? Plus there's shrinkflation. So shrinkflation is where in the past you would pay five bucks, right? For, actually I'll use an example of this. We would pay 10 bucks for a bag. And inside the bag, there's three kind of like ground beef tubes, 450 grams. I don't know what that is in uh, Imperial. Right? So 450, not grams, 450 something or other of, of ground beef. Now we play the same price for 360. You know, it's a lot of food. Same price, but now there's like half the bag. The Half the bag is empty. But the same price as it was like a year and a half ago. Like, what the fuck, dude? It's called shrinkflation. Right, signal detect. I have to watch out for these guys. So I have to be careful with these guys. Can I throw knives? No, I can't. Is there a dude there? Oh, that's the guy. That's the man. Oh, he's gone now. Okay. See you, buddy. Now, can I go this way as well? I don't think so. Pardon me. No, we have to go that way. Okay. Cool. 
So I have to make sure I can take these guys out without the alarm going off. Okay, is he going to move? Please don't move. Why am I doing that? Kennels. The kennels where Rudy Jaeger keeps his vicious confluence as an unusually cruel form of execution. Jaeger likes to feed his dogs with prisoners from the castle dungeons. Sir? It's yam time. Fuck. Didn't think anyone saw me there. Fuck. I'm dead, bro. Hold up. I need... Damn. Okay. So, now we know what happened. I just gotta... That guy was like the perfect bait. I thought no one else was around. <laughs> Damn. They're going to have this uh, celebration live on May 25th. Got it. Is that going to be local for you, uh, Elizabeth? More people fighting McDonald's and get too hangry? <laughs> I don't have people fighting fast food restaurants, man. I really don't. Might as well get him quick, right? Okay. We got... Buddy, can I jump that? Probably not. I think I have to get over there. Okay, that means we have to get this way. You're a Pulp Fiction. You're in the supermarket, you see a guy who's wearing a Pulp Fiction t-shirt? I still see those every once in a while. Shit. Now we're doing a little better here. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Ooh, Granada. I forget how to sh how to toss them, but worn a movie T-shirt. I think I have at some point. I don't remember when, but pretty confident I have. I'm so paranoid here. Shit! Fire! Damn it. Ah, Shit! Oh, yo, if they toss her in here, I'm fucked. I got one too, buddy. Haha. <laughs> Let me reload, guys. Reload. We have brother. Whew. Damn it, I'm out of ammo. Oh shit, we got one way at the back there. Yeah, I can shoot from here, buddy. Dumbass. Give me that. Gotta make a move. Okay, now I can take a second to look for shit. Yeah, 
Oh, no way! Look at all the shit! Give me all the goodies. That oh, sucks, I didn't look up. Man, we had a nice little sneak, sneak spot. Why do they call dinner and a show? Uh, because you're eating dinner at the show. There's a dinner theater that uh, used to be right local to me. It was great. It was a great comedy show or eating dinner. It was great. Uh, it would have been when I was a kid, dude. I don't, I don't remember what I had, actually. But I'm confident I had one. I don't remember what it'd be. You have a meeting, Bill, where you have get togethers? Nice. All right, we're maxed out. Good, I need that. Hi, break your stuff. No, not that stuff. I will take all of the shit I can get here, man. What's up, boys? Oh shit! I should have known that was gonna happen. Fuck. God, will you shut up? What's up, boys? Yeet. Look, there's so many of you here. How many were yelling? Toss one little grenade and they all of a sudden panic. I don't understand it. That blood though. To watch some fights while eating before is it a pizza place? So dinner and show. Hi. That guy thought he was slick. Oh shit. Okay, hold up, hold up. Give me a sec. Let me reload. There's enough for all of you here. Get your pound of flesh. Sometimes a burst fire works just fine. Grenade, fuck. <laughs> now I'm the one who's panicking. <laughs> Here I'm making fun of them. Oh, they're panicking. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, there's a grenade. So many of them. Sheesh. Like... Ugh, that hurt. I'm sorry, we do all right. Like, I'm worried about bursting through because I don't know how many there's going to be. You know? Hello? Oh. Oh, that was made for me. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I missed him. We're going to get some of that. We're going to get some of that. Ah. Oh, missed opportunity. So many missed opportunities. Yo, that's going to be fun. Before we do, I think we have to open up the... Break your shit. I don't like boxes. They keep things from me. <laughs> okay. Maxed out. Oh, buddy's right here. And you're done. You're seven bullets. All right. Ooh, give me the grenade. Yes. There we go. I think we're gonna go on a little boat ride, my friends. Ooh, what's this? Camp pistol? -y? Hold on. 
A single shot pistol fires high explosive ammunition, useful for taking out large targets and groups of enemies. Fuck yes. Oh, I'm here for it. You ever had a Frosty from Wendy's? Bro, you gotta do it. Frosties are great. I wonder if I need to... You know what? That's gonna be fun. But before we do... Gold. Alright. Can't wait to use this thing, man. Dreamsicle Frosty sounds amazing. Need to use that bar to uh, navigate the waters. Keep enter the keep, find Wesley wherever Rudy is taking. Got it. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Granada? Sure, I got one. Woo! Oh, shit! They got one, too! Oh! That motherfucker went splat! Oh, my lord! That's a... That can't... Wow. I... That was un... That is unnecessary, is what that is. I want more. Oh, God. Sheesh. Push me. Yo, these guys just, just push. I love it. Oh, shit. Hi. Grenade. Fuck. I'm too good for that. I'm too good for that. You can't stop me. There's so many of them. I hear Granada. Granada! I have not tried their orange. I don't think we have that here in Canada. They only have like, uh... Hold on. Yeah, your buddy's gone too. There's so many out there. Good lord. Like, I will take my time with this. I ain't pushing that. Damn, I'm crazy? Hell nah. No, no, no. That guy thought he was being slick. No, sir. Time to go. Bonk. Shit, I'm in trouble. Yo. There is so many. Like, it forces me to kind of camp. It really does. Like, there's there's a lot, a lot. You know what I mean? Annoyingly a lot. I mean, if that's what we got to do. What do we have? Just the chocolate and I think the vanilla, man. Kind of hurt, but not really. Like, this is how many they're dropping right now. Imagine it's on, like, the uber difficulty, you know what I mean? What's up, buddy? It's like, like, one of my HP. They like to do that. They toss their nade, then they push. Which makes sense. Where are the rest of them right now? Mint lemonade? Uh, lemonade sounds good. Mint lemonade? That sounds weird to me, though. Ain't gonna lie. I wonder if the game was like, nah, we said too much last time. Let's take it easy on them now. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Did I break these before? I think I did. Whatever, it's all good. Shit, the alarm changed. Uh, running. Yeah, time to go. So we triggered something. Like, the, the sound of the alarm changed big time. 
Big time. Granada. I heard it. There it is. And he's gonna push. Surprise! You guys are so predictable. Got him! Ooh, why did I do this before? Dude, this is a nice little spot. Why didn't I do that before? I'm so dumb. This is a great spot. This is great. Oh, maybe not. So they can move up on me like that. Dumbass. <laughs> But yeah, Jacob, regular lemonade would be great. I don't know about mint lemonade. Mint chocolate chip for ice cream is really good, though. Oh, hi. Anyone else? We like to party. We like, we like to party. All right. Calm these little whippersnappers down. Got a little bit too excited there. A little hot on the collar, huh? Bonk. Give me all the goodies. All right, now that that uh, oh, I gotta do it. Woo! Uh, it's so fun. And this one too. Bop. Pull something back here, maybe. Oh, nothing back here. Okay. Yeah, dude, I think you'd like it. Frosties are are, are yummy. It's a nice. It's a definitely a nice dessert. Here we go. Gentlemen. Oh, I fucking hate drones, man. Yo, who's doing that? There I see you. Don't move, stop. Yeah, like that's gonna work, buddy. Oh yeah, baby. It's what you like to see. Uh oh. Oh, this is where it has unlimited. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> Dude, I'm just blowing shit up. All right, Jeannie, have a fantastic night. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure seeing you. I hope you have a great night, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care, Jeannie. Good night. Almost like a real shooter here. I'm sorry, I did not give you permission. Well, whatever. We made it. Imagine that, like some dudes just try and jump me from like right here. Nice. Aw, oh, so welcoming. Whew. So what's gonna happen? Oh, a rat! What's up? <laughs> Okay, we're just going to the next area. Okay. The docks. Hmm. 
All right, here we go. What are we gonna run into now? Don't worry, Wesley. I've got a plan. Break we do. The keep. Kill every goddamn Nazi in there. Set you free. Well, then that's we the get plan. Get out of this place and contact Kessler in the village. Damn it! What? There's so many of them. This really sucks. There we go. That's what, that's what I was looking for. <sighs> 2 a.m. You're still awake? <laughs> sorry to keep you up, my friend. Sorry, not sorry. Wow, they did not like that. I got one too, buddy. Yo, my aim was ass. That was god awful aim. Okay, okay, okay. I hate the ones that are like posted up top. That's tough. Is there a way I can get up there? No. Doesn't look like it. How about that? No. Still one more, I think. Or not? Yes. Give me the good stuff, baby. Okay, maybe not. I own these docks now. Ha <laughs> ha. All the good stuff. That's the entrance? Good lord. Oof. I only got 26 armor. Oh, there's one over here too. Okay. Is where the look, right? Can't do this one. Lock from the other side, huh? Here we go. I swear I saw this door open before. Well, shit. I'll need that, though. That's great. Um, walk up to the front door. Shut. Reckon it opens from elsewhere. Yeah, I didn't think they'd let me in the, the front door. So, can I just walk in the water then? We can. I hope this is alright. 53 Fahrenheit tomorrow? So, does that mean it's like getting warmer? Probably, right? I know it's starting to get a little bit of spring weather up here now, too, which is nice. Oh, it's probably secrets beneath. I'm not gonna go search for it though. Aha. We found it. Ah, <laughs> suckers. You can't stop me. Oh, it's chilly as F? Okay, gotcha. No, we were getting up to, um, like 16, 18 degrees up here, uh, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Apologize. Ooh. 
Ooh, headshot like that. Where's your little buddy? It's a nice little suit of armor. Oh, wow. Okay. Fuck it. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? He's like... Also, what you being silent, right? That's okay. I don't mind. Make a mess, cause a problem. What's up? Ooh, oh, 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 oh! Just a shower of crimson. Gross. Wow, these guys are fucking sponges, eh? What the fuck? Something's weird there. Something's, like, off with these dudes, man. Like, they're in darker uniforms. Like, that's freaking weird, man. What's this? Shock hammer? What the fuck is this? A heavy and very powerful... Double barrel semi automatic combat shotgun. Weapon fires from alternating barrels for increased rate of fire. Well, then. No wonder it's doing some damage to me. Oh, we got dual wheel, baby. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go with the regular shock hammer. Bonk. Like, these guys just popped out of doors and stuff. Like, what were they doing in there? They're sitting there fondling themselves? It's like, oh, there's a problem. Now I'll come out of the woodwork. Like, what? Oh, a tower map. Very nice. Ooh, article. Sweden signs peace treaty. Berlin. March 14th, 1946. Early Monday morning. A peace treaty was signed between the Swedish King Gustav V and Adolf Hitler. After a month of Arctic warfare in the Swedish north, our brave German boys broke through the front line and captured the iron ore mine in Kiruna, a strategically important location of the war effort. With the surrender of the Swedish government, the parliament was disbanded and the Swedish monarchy pledged loyalty to Germany and Adolf Hitler. With this peace treaty comes new trading agreements where Swedish iron ore will be shipped exclusively to Germany, providing a huge boost for the stagnating Swedish economy. After signing the peace treaty, Adolf Hitler was taken on a tour by Dr. Gunnar Dahlberg of the State Institute for Racial Biology, founded in 1922, the world's first of its kind. The Führer was very impressed with the facilities and commended Sweden for their contribution to this important field of research. And so the countries actually started falling in this timeline. It's a scary thought, though, isn't it? Like, what if the Nazis had actually won? I don't know. <laughs> a little helmet sticking out there. <laughs> like, that's a scary thought, man. Don't need that no more, brother. Ooh, I definitely want those. Where'd the music go? Oh, I blew out the side of that guy. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> we deleted that thing, man. Oh, my good Lord. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to... I got to do it. We got to do it. <laughs> we got to do it, man. We can't not use the dual wield with these things. Anyone like to come say hello to our little friends? Okay. One more. Okay, that's opening a lot of stuff, though. Oh, hello. 
Any more jump scares? Th Can't go that way? Oh. Okay. Definitely a scary part, yeah. <laughs> The game does a good job distracting you with looking at one thing, and there's other shit there that you don't see until you go through it. Like, it's really good at doing that. Jesus! Alright, it's like that, huh? Shit! Alright. Sir, do you think we just talk about this? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> I love this gun. I don't want to use a lot. Granada. Thank you. Yeah, you like that too? Whew. Got him. This gun, he's got burst fire. Whoa. Oh, oh, no, sir. That's a no thank you. What did you say? Oh. Got him. Yeah, longer ranges. Until I get like a marksman rifle or a sniper of some sort. I gotta burst fire this guy at longer ranges, which is fine. It's working out well for us, as you can see. <laughs> And as these guys can see, although like, they can't really see anymore. Oh my god, what did we do? <laughs> oh god. Well, then. I guess you could say that that gun is effective. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I think yes. I think we will. Okay, so we're going the same way, I think. Yeah. We came in from there. Hold up. If I take this... Let's go. Alright, who wants to fuck around and find out? Okay. Definitely need that. Alright, here we go. I'm willing to bet... Are those depth charges? Oh, we got... Oh, no. Gentlemen! It's on foot from here. That was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Oh, that man went out to the wrong spot. Come on, give me a red. Poke! Poke out! Oh, I keep thinking that thing. Kaboom! That guy up there is really pissing me off. I totally meant to do that. Good. I got sick of that guy real quick. Come on, guys. Keep coming out of there. Shit. The ones that come from out there, that's a challenge. Shit. Fuck. Oh no. Come say hi. Please come say hi. 
<laughs> oh shit! Good thing I ran out of fucking ammo there. What's up? Oh man, they're just lining up like I'm giving away TVs on Black Friday. Yeah, can I play with this? All right. Did I hear go like a guy with da? There we go. No one's uh, on the way, so we can take our time now. Good. Yeah, Walmart. <laughs> Ooh, a little secret spot here. Hello? Gentlemen! Pull up. Where'd that little secret spot go? There's a little secret over here. Where'd that go? What? Okay, fine. Do I slide there? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Okay, we already went in here. Okay, I got it. Poor bastards. Now, I get to explore a little bit. You want a rug? Probably a fine Persian rug there. No, nothing else in here? Okay. Worth, it's always worth a check. You never know what you're going to find, right? I need a key. Fuck. Okay. Well, where's the key? If I was a key, where would I be? Hmm. Okay. That's a sneaky spot for gold. Okay, we're looking for a key here. Ah! Right there on the table. How nice. Perfect. Easiest key you'll ever find, man. I love it. Sneaky, sneaky gold. All that glitters. <laughs> Dude, let the man tell a story. I want to hear the story. Oh. I just want to hear the man's story. Fortune's probably gonna be the last girl he laid or lied with. <laughs> oh shit. Y'all gonna come check it out, bro? And you're done. Shit. Fuck your dog. 
Okay, if they try and push... Worst idea of their fucking lives. Shit, we have to reload. Okay, well, they're not gonna push. Alright, well, that's fine. Shush! Oh, we're dead! Oh, I'm sure there's other smells that aren't very pleasant in here. Oh, yes, please. Give me that. Hello? I need more shoddy ammo. Those things are too fun. No drinks for you. Oh shit! Oh! Ow. Well, that sucks. At least I got all my weapons still. I mean, that's something, right? We jump that? No. Okay. Oh shit. It's worth a shot. If we were like. Uh, Ezio, we could probably, like, get all around this. The hell? Okay. Okay, bro. This is... <laughs> the worst freaking lump of sand ever. Do I shoot it out first? Like... I don't get it. Unless I use my, uh, pipe to climb... Oh, it's right here. Duh, I'm an idiot. Aha. Uh -huh. Now can we get there? There we go. That's what I thought. Ooh, a secret area. He's very secret. Shh. You know tell. It'll be our secret area, guys, okay? Wonder what is so secret about this area? Dead. Shh, be quiet. Ooh, can I grab that sword? That'd be dope. Pull out that sword. Century-old catacombs that date as far back as the 10th century. Some of the tombs date back nearly a thousand years ago. Crazy. Sir, got a hand in your jersey. Oh! So yeah, we're just kind of making our way through this crazy place. Ooh, yes, throwing knives. Fuck yes. I was waiting for this. When carrying more than one knife, you have the ability to throw knives. A knife cannot be thrown if standing too close to a wall or an enemy. Standing close to an enemy will result in a takedown. The throwing knife ability enables you to take down enemies silently from a distance. Nice. <laughs> I got him right in the freaking cankle. Dude, that's nasty. I love how they put the little helmets on the skulls. That's hilarious. It's actually kind of adorable. <laughs> In a weird, macabre kind of way. Give my knife back. <laughs> uh, 
That's funny. Yeet. The way they crumple. Oh my god. Uh oh. My knife back. Okay, I don't need that just yet. Wait, did we come this way? I think we did, didn't we? Fire! Oh, shit. Damn it. I guess I didn't come this way. Alright, well, time to fight. You suck. Eh. That's tough. I missed my throwing knife, man. That's alright. What? Someone's out there. Yeah, I only have the one. Okay. Wait, what is this? When did we get this? Where are you? Oh, shit! Oh, it's the bolt action. Let's go. I maxed out of that? Damn. Okay. Oh, I'm excited for this bolt action. Let's go. Hold on. Chloris cores, I'm not going to waste it. Okay, now, however... Oh, no. Okay, we're climbing that. Oof! Hi! Goodbye. Nice armor. That dude just walked in the wrong room at the wrong time. Sorry, my guy. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, I suppose. Okay. Oh, elevator. Very nice. Oh, not very nice. Okay, so where are we going here, then? Do we climb over? What am I missing here? Do we need power? Oh, there it is. Sometimes you just gotta look around a little bit. Oh, perfect. Climb mechanics, interesting. What? There we go. Why was I out of bullets on this? There's a dude above me. Shit. Okay. I want to see if I can get through this without the alarm going off. Those things are fucking annoying. like right above me.
I'm glad this thing is like the silencer is a legit silencer. Like you, like they don't hear it at all. That's great. Right, that was his little alarm there. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. Oh, we're gonna have get in trouble for this. Push me. Please. Hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna push. Okay, did not know this was a thing. Okay, I must have killed the commander. Because <laughs> the alarm didn't go off. Even though they, they kind of heard. Nice. In all that commotion, I was like, oh shit. That was some nice grenades we tossed in the room though. I just blew all of them up. That's great. <sighs> like, dude, there's so many of them. <laughs> I don't even know how this guy got hurt, but he got blown out the room. Nice. What we got here? Article, Normandy Defense Museum to open next week. Normandy, France. Paris, March 15th, 1946. Two years after the failed Allied invasion of Normandy. Failed. That was a big one. In June 1944, the Wehrmacht, in cooperation with the People's Front, is ready to inaugurate the first Normandy Defense Museum. Spread out on three beaches, the museum is connected by an underground metro and will feature tours of the bunkers, encampments, and the beaches themselves. 156,000 Allied soldiers died during their attempted invasion of Normandy. Only 89 German heroes lost their lives. The failed invasion was subsequently dubbed D-Day by the Allied aggressors, where the D stands for the English word for death. We all know what the D stands for. And is perceived by many to be the final nail in the coffin for the already strained Anglo-American alliance. When asked about the speed of which the museum was built, the chief of the museum remarked, It's poetic justice. The museum was built by the enemies we captured during the invasion. They came here to destroy our fatherland, but ended up building a monument to their own defeat. Ooh, that's savage. Ugh. Ugh. That's tough. Okay, before we check that... Okay, I think that'll do. Dual pipe. <laughs> I 
excuse me? Ooh, we got the scope. Let's go. Highly efficient scope for the bomb and shoes rifle. Sir, I invite you to come play. Where are you? Oh, he's up there. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I got one too. Man, all that fighting just to get here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to waste it. Worth it. Worth it. Wow, my aim is fucking shit. That's why I don't snipe. <laughs> Normally. Yo, no, 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 no. No one said you could push up. Yeah, you thought I was going for the other guy, didn't you? That's what the guy thought. Whee! Oh, sir. I may be a piss poor sniper, but I can still hit every once in a while. And when I do, it is glorious. Because it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> your hat, your guns. Y'all suck. All right, time to go inside, shall we? Oh. Imagine those things came alive. What movie did you watch, Jacob? Welcome to Castle Wolfenstein, my friends. Wolfenstein Keep. Starsky had hatched. Good one. Man. Love what they've uh, done with the place. They clearly like to keep up the aesthetic and keep it clean. I mean, the, the flags are clean, but, you know... Okay, inside the keep. Was it's got to be here somewhere? Most likely, he is, my friends, and we are going to find him. Hopefully, on our next episode. It is a work night. It's twelve o'clock here in Vancouver, so unfortunately, it's time to call. I could keep going. This is fun. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs>
Um, as well, we do let's show the amazing people who were hanging out in chat with us tonight as we went back against the Nazis. Ha <laughs> ha. This alternate reality terrifies me. Just the thought of it where like there's there's paper clippings of where like the allies failed and some of the Nordic countries were doing peace treaties as opposed to, you know, fighting and, and winning. Like such a scary thing. Terrifying thought. Absolutely terrifying. Let's go and thank you fine people. As we do. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Jeannie. Jacob, thank you. Chris Kidwell, thank you. And Tenzin, I appreciate you guys and girls. You always make it a little bit more fun. And if you happen to be out there lurking right now on one of our platforms, Twitch, Kick D Live, uh, Rumble, or YouTube, I appreciate you. I'm glad you were here at some point. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again in the future. You'll be able to hang out again in the future. Until our next stream, my friends, on Friday night. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Go give someone a high five. We'll see you all on the next one. Appreciate you. Fuck. This is awkward. I'm, I'm going to go. Bye. Bye. I've been grinding all night.